Hi, welcome to the game shop. How can I help you? Okay, have you visited us before? You haven't? Alright. Well, I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. Let me just set this aside. So, are you looking for anything in particular or just browsing today? Okay, so you're looking for something a little nostalgic? I can help you there. Now, are you a collector or just looking to try out some old video games? Okay. Well, you came at the right time. We're actually having a retro video game sale this week. And we actually just got in an old SNES system as well. So, are you familiar with that? Okay, well, it came out in 1990, so it may be a little before your time. But I'm happy to show you that if you're interested. Alright, great. So, I can show you that, and I can actually show you the games it comes with. They're actually all right here. And the controllers. And would you be interested in pricing as well? Okay, so then I can look up the prices for you. Um, I can work out a deal for you if you would be interested in purchasing uh, maybe a few games or the entire bundle, so. I can work with you on that. So why don't I just get some space cleared out so I can show you all of the games in the system and then we will get started. So I figured I would start by showing you the system first. So let me just move some things out of the way. So this is the system right here. And it actually comes with two controllers. And see that one is a little bit more discolored compared to the other one, but they're both in working condition. So here is this one first. And this is the one that's a little bit more discolored, but just test the buttons. And this was already tested, so I do know it works, but I'll just show you. So, here's this one, and here's the back. So you would have this one. And remind me, you said you've never played anything on the SNES? You think you did, you just don't remember? Okay. Well, I'm excited to show you it. So here's the other one, and you can see it's a little bit cleaner looking. Let's look at the buttons. And here's the back. So, both of these would come with the system. So, like I said, the SNES came out in 1990. And it was obviously very highly anticipated since the NES was so popular years prior. So system for you. And this one as well is completely tested, working perfectly, and I'm actually happy to show you um, any of the games on it if you would like to purchase it. Um, we have a TV set up right there, so I can make sure you like what you see. But here it is. So it looks a little bit different and the gaming systems you would see today. But you can see it says Nintendo right up here. And then Super Nintendo 
entertainment system right there and we have the power button right here and the reset button and then of course this is where your game goes in and I'll show you that in a moment and then this is how you eject the game safely Obviously, the front is where you place your controllers so they can plug in. There are not wireless controllers for this system, so you have to have a nice, comfortable setup to play this. And then you can see the other areas for the cords in the back. And here's the bottom. So this one's very clean, well taken care of. It would definitely be a good one to snag if you're interested. And let me just grab a game and show you. So it just goes in just like this. Okay. So again, very different than games today. But kind of neat that you can see it stick up like this and see what you're playing. So that's how it is. And then you eject. And there you go. Okay, so are you still interested in learning about the games? Very good. Well, let me just get my keyboard here so I can look up the pricing for you and I can start showing you the games okay so first let's see I guess I'll start with Donkey Kong so are you familiar with Donkey Kong? okay and I'll just say too, I'm going to continue uh, just cleaning these a little bit as I talk about them. I was actually in the middle of doing it when you came in, so I want to make sure they're in top shape if you choose to purchase them. So this is Donkey Kong Country. And in this game, you play as Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. So, the object of this game is to complete all the levels, obviously, but your bananas were stolen, and you have to get them back. It's very fun, it's very challenging, and it's a platforming game, um, just like most of these games I'll show you. And each character has their own unique move set. So it's super fun. And I'm just looking at the front. It looks like the label is perfect. I'm just going to dust a little bit right here. And none of these games have permanent marker on them or anything like that, so I don't know if that matters to you. <laughs> but just wanted to let you know. Okay, so that's Donkey Kong. And why don't I look up the pricing of Donkey Kong? it's ten dollars but I want to make sure yes it's ten dollars and I forgot to mention too there are 40 levels in that game so just so you know so here's the second game and it's actually Donkey Kong Country 2 so if you like the first one you have plenty of action in the second and this is actually called Diddy's Kong Quest. 
So in this one, you actually play as Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong. And you can see her right next to Donkey Kong on the cover. And you actually have to rescue Donkey Kong in this game. The label looks good. Let's see the top here. And the back. Let me just wipe this one for you. And again, this is challenging, but tons of fun. And let me look up the price for this. I think it's also ten dollars, so Donkey Kong Country 2. Looks like ten dollars. And before I move on, I did want to mention the pricing may be surprising or not surprising to you, I'm not sure. But um, game prices, especially for older systems, are extremely high right now. So that's why we're having a sale to help people out who want to try out these old games. So um, a few of them may seem a little higher than normal, but we are trying to give a fair price compared to our competitor stores. So the next game, and this is the last one I promise, but this is another Donkey Kong game. And this is the third one, and it's called Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. So here's the front label. And in this one, you play as Dixie and your BB cousin, Kitty Kong. And you can see her on the front there. So this one's a little bit more complex compared to the others. You can actually explore um, between each area in the different levels. And there's different vehicles you can ride as well, such as, I think there's a speedboat. I think there's also a hovercraft. You can see on the front, I believe they're in the boat. And you can actually have animals in this game be your companions. And that just means that they can kind of help you out with the different levels, which is nice. And I believe there are 48 levels in this game. And all three of these are in great condition. Okay. So let's look at the pricing. I think that one might be a few more dollars than the other two. So Donkey Kong Country 3. 15. Yeah, that one's 15. Can actually move these out of the way if you don't mind. All right, so next up is one of my favorites. I'm a big fan of Yoshi. Are you familiar with Yoshi? Okay. Yep. On my shirt. So this is Yoshi's Island, which is technically Super Mario World 2. So here's Cover. So you play as Yoshi in this game, and your objective is actually to protect baby Mario. And you can actually see him right there. Um, he sits on your back when you play as Yoshi. And you have to reunite him with Luigi in the game. So this game is really fun. There's um, a lot of unique eggs that you can use to do cool things. There's a really fun, 
final boss fight and you actually play against baby Bowser if I remember correctly which is funny I'm just gonna wipe this but overall good music good level design and a really fun gameplay and I do see there's a little bit of maybe dirt down here and I can try to get this off later um, after I'm done explaining the games I do have a special solution for that so um, if it bothers you so let's look up the pricing for that Yoshi's Island this might be a little bit more yeah this is currently $20 okay okay now this one there is a pre-owned sticker on it but I will get it off for you as well if you choose to purchase the game this is one that I haven't fully cleaned yet but this game is a popular one and it's Star Fox so that is Fox McCloud on the front and you can see I believe it's a little bit under the sticker but you fly in your ship in this game called the R-Wing And you fight Andros, which is the boss, the enemy. And basically the whole game is shooting your way through enemies. There's the back. And I see there might be some more areas I have to clean for you on the front, so I can do that. And if I take this pre-owned sticker off, the sticker underneath should be fine, so. But you play um, with your team in this game, and your teammates are Falco, Peppy, and Slippy. And what I always remember about this game is that the graphics seemed so 3D its time but not in the 3d sense that you would know for today's games so if you're into kind of space shooting type games this is a classic that you have to play and let's check Racing, Star Fox. I think it should be ten dollars. Yep, ten dollars. Okay. Alright, so next I think I'll show you let's see here. So this is the first Mario title I'll show you. And it is Mario Paint. And I actually really like this game. So here's the front. Sticker is in great condition. So this game was really unique. Um, you could do so many things. You could, let's see, paint. I know you could do uh, 3D animation, create music. You could color in a coloring book in the game, draw, make stamps, it was just all about creativity. So very different than your typical Mario game, or than any of these games. Very unique. And it was very chill and relaxing. Kind of like an Animal Crossing game before their time, just very relaxing. Now, what I will say about this game 
is it did come with a mouse and a mouse pad. So I don't have the mouse pad, but I do have the mouse, which I'm going to show you in a second. But honestly, it doesn't really matter if you don't have the mouse pad, because you can use your own. And if you would really want it in the future, we might get one in stock eventually, or you could find one online. Um, let me look up the price for that and then show you the mouse. Mario Paint. That is only five dollars. So, not expensive at all. Okay, so here is the mouse. And it's really just like a regular mouse. It's a little bit discolored, obviously, due to age, but this is tested. It does work. So, here is the front of it. Like I said, it just looks like a normal mouse. And here's the bottom. It's a little bit shaky this ball on the bottom so I can try to fix it for you if you want and here's the buttons so like I said this is perfect for Mario paint if you would be interested so I know we still have a few games to go but what are your thoughts so far? Okay. Well, I don't want to force it on you, but it would be a really cool collection to have. So, let me put this aside. So, I show you this. I guess I'll show you this one next. Next is Super Mario World. And what's special about this game? Is it's the best-selling NES game of all time and there's a good reason for it it's just so good so it's your typical 2d Mario platformer there are 96 levels so you'll be kept busy with this game and obviously like your typical Mario game a lot of obstacles, a lot of enemies you'll face. You can dash, you can jump, dodge. Um, and the same power-ups from previous games before this one, um, such as the Super Mushroom, Fire Flower, if you're familiar. But you also have the Cape Fire. In this game and you can see that right on the front that's the cape feather so it just gives you the ability to fly um, and I think you can also like glide in the air and sail this one's a little bit dusty so I'm gonna wipe it off for you so this one is obviously a neat one to have the collection since it's just so popular and surprisingly I do not think this one is too expensive I'm gonna double check for you okay so, super the Super Mario. Why don't we go to Super Mario All-Stars? 
this. Here it is. There's Mario and friends on the front. So this is basically the NES version of Mario 1, 2, and 3 and the Lost Levels combined. So kind of like remakes of all of them with better graphics, which is always nice. I believe there were bug fixes, um, upgraded music, things like that. So what would be nice about having this, even if you have the older games, is that they're all in here combined. And if you look closely, actually I never noticed this, you can see that it actually says in the artwork, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3 and lost levels right on the front so let me wipe this for you and I'm sorry I'm assuming that you know a lot about Mario but I never really asked you do you play any Mario games currently? You did play Mario Odyssey? Okay, so then you're familiar with the main characters and the type of style that a Mario game has. Yeah, that was a great game. Okay. Let's look up the price for that. I think that might also be the same, so super Mario stars ten dollars okay. all right so I'll switch it up this time and show you another one of my favorites so this is Kirby superstar eight games in one so there are so many levels in this game and typical to Kirby games, you have to avoid enemies, there's obstacles, and what's funny is Kirby can actually inhale his enemies in this game, which allows him to have their abilities, which is cool. And so there's different game modes, if I remember correctly, and you can race in some, um, and then others have more of a specific story. Overall, it's a super fun game. Just clean it for you. There looks to be a little bit of scuffing on the word star there. I don't know if you can see that, but otherwise, this looks like it's in great condition. So I'm just going to continue wiping this. I will warn you, I think this one is more than $10, so let's check. Kirby Superstar, 8 games in one. Okay, yes, this is $40. So, a $40 game, and hopefully that won't turn you off, because it is a fun one. So, just one more to go. And I saved one of the best for last. So this is Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. And on the front, you'll see Mario, Peach, and Bowser. So, this game was super cool when it came out. 
and I would say that this game really started with the unique humor that you would now see in games like Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, or um, even the newer Paper Mario for Switch, uh, Origami King. So, this is kind of where that humor <laughs> originated, if you like that fun story, really fun gameplay, and it had the RPG aspect, which is unique for its time. And if you don't know what that means, it just means it's turn-based, so it's kind of like you fight, and then the enemy fights, you fight, the enemy fights, um, during the battles. So you start off as playing just as Mario, but it does grow to five characters as you go on. And each of them has their own abilities, so you can help each other out. It really is one of my favorites, for sure. And this label is perfect. Scratches, no dents, nothing like that. So I will warn you, I know this is more pricey than the others. So let me confirm. $60. So it's a little bit more pricey, but I can maybe cut you a little bit of a deal if you're interested. So that's all the games we have for this bundle. What are your overall thoughts? Very nice. I would be excited too. There's so many fun games in this collection. So I think you would really like it. And I should mention we do have other games as well in the store. This is just a mini collection that was donated, so you can take a look at those games. Um, they're actually on the wall over there. Um, if you'd like to do that now, you can. I'm actually going to um, just kind of see what the pricing would be for this total bundle if you're interested. You are perfect. So let me just take a few moments to figure that out, and then I will come get you so we can potentially check out. Um, you're back. Did you find anything? Very nice. So which one did you find? Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember playing this one. So, Super Star Wars. Are you a Star Wars fan? You are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a fun one to have then. Let me actually dust it off for you. I see it's a little bit dirty. So, let me just get that for you. And I did come up with a final price. And you would like to purchase this as well, I'm assuming. Okay. So I did tell you all of the individual prices for the games. Um, I didn't mention the price for um, the system because, like I said, I'd like to kind of do a package deal for you. Would you be interested in that or would you like to purchase maybe just a few games? The whole package. Okay. So, with all of the games plus the system. 
that. Okay, so the total price, 10 games, well, now 11 games with Super Star Wars and the system and the two controllers would be $275. So how do you feel about that price? And I will say that that is less than our competitors would have you purchase it for, so it is a good deal. You'd like to buy it? Very good. Well, I'm so excited for you. You're definitely making the right choice, and I'm not just saying that. I think you'll have hours of fun ahead, so... Um, like I said, that'll be two seventy-five. dollars And would you like to pay with cash or credit card? Credit card? Alright. You can actually just scan it right there. Very good. And I will process it for you. And can I take down an email address? Very good. And would you like to sign up for monthly emails from us? That would include um, promotions that we have going on, such as the retro game sale that we have today. Okay, wonderful. Sign you up. So, your receipt was just emailed to you, and I'm going to have my colleague um, pack everything up nicely for you so that you don't have to worry about it um, getting messed up at all on your drive home. So, it was so great doing business with you. I hope you enjoyed my overview of all of these games, and I hope you enjoy your SNES. If you have any questions or problems with any of the games, controllers or the console itself, please give us a call. All of our contact information is in the email that you received with your receipt. The return policy is that we will accept anything um, within 30 days of the purchase. So, like I said, everything's tested and it's working, but you can just check everything as well when you get home. Okay? All right. Well, I hope to see you in the store again soon, and enjoy your SNES.